Hi guys, um, I am here to show you a activity that I've created to review uh, data and statistics and graphing with my students uh, for the election. And so this is called Take Your Pick and it's available in my TPT store. So as part of Take Your Pick, uh, all of the pages that you will be putting inside the mini book come separately so you can do it over a process of days and then compile the book once you are complete. So this is um, a half page, four tab book. And in this book, uh, the cover comes with all of the words already on it. Um, the images come separately so the students can add them where they wish. So the first activity is to, um, I can cast a ballot for presidential candidate. And it comes with ballots already pre-done. And then the students, once the, all the ballots are cast, they will create a tally chart to tally up the total ballots for your class. The next thing is to, I can accurately compile data in a table, tally chart, and graph. So they've already done the tally chart. So now they have a table, and they're compiling, um, they're turning the tallies into a ratio of votes cast to total votes. So they're having to turn those into uh, fractions or ratios. And then they will use those fractions and convert them into percentages. So conversions of rational numbers is also covered. And then the next thing they will do is, because they've converted them to percents, they will now create a circle graph. So they have a circle, and they have the title, and they have to make a key and convert those percents into filling in the whole circle. And then they will use that information to compare the presidential votes. Uh, they will compare numbers of votes um, with each candidate and create a bar graph. And then here they will create a frequency table. And I put on here that X equals something. So it could be one vote, two votes, three votes, whatever you would like to do. This is another graphic available in um, the uh, on the different pages for the kids to be able to decorate with. I haven't colored that one in yet. Um, and then the next is I can determine the mean, median, a mode, and range of a set of data. So they will find the mean of the votes cast, the median of the votes cast, the mode, and the range, and again another image. And then to wrap it all up, I have a reflection sheet for them. So based on the class election results, who do you predict will be the winner of the 2012 election? And then they have to explain how they determined this. And then based on the class statistics, what percent of the votes should be the winning candidate received? And then a follow-up, once the election has been held, who won the presidential election and was our prediction based on class results accurate? And based on the final poll results, what percent of the votes did the winning candidate receive? So they have to do a little bit of work in the real world to be able to finish this up. I think this is a great activity for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. It is aligned to uh, the TEKS for 6th and 7th grade as well as the Common Core State Standards for 6th and 7th grade. But it would be a good review activity for 8th grade as well since a lot of these are on um, their standardized testing at the end of the year. So I hope you'll take a look over in my TPT store and give it a look-see and see if it's something that you can use in your class. Have a great day. Links down below. Bye, guys. Bye.